the best social security the federal government can offer the families of Nigerian fallen heroes in the line of duties to offer their children educational scholarship. Governor Doyeteri asserted this at the 2022 Armed Forces Remembrance Day emblem launch in the government house, Yanogwa. Joseph Kunde has details in this report. January 15th every year is observed as Armed Forces Remembrance Day in Nigeria. It is set aside to commemorate the servicemen of the Nigerian Armed Forces. At the conference hall in the government house in Agua, Governor Douye Diri, being represented by his deputy, Lawrence Rujapo, donates to the state chapter of the Nigerian Legion during the appeal fund and the launching of the state 2022 Nigerian Armed Forces Remembrance Day in Yanagoa. I am actually paying each time when we talk about the fallen heroes in our country. Anyway, it is not unconnected with the usual style of our labor not being recognized as really the labors of our heroes past. I want to, on behalf of His Excellency, launch this year's appeal fund emblem with a sum of 2 million naira. Permit me to seize this opportunity to solicit for more assistance from government, corporate bodies, religious organizations for the welfare of the families of those who lay down their precious life for the unity of this great country. While urging the National Assembly to enact laws that will support families of the fallen heroes, the Deputy Governor also wants the federal government to do more as regards their welfare. There's no other thing you can do to help a family than to ensure that uh, the children are enabled and empowered to be self-sufficient and self-sustaining. And the only way we can do that is to give education to the children of these fallen heroes. More often than not, the main problem they have as family is how to train the children after their loved one has passed on. If we can ex expand our social uh, security uh, cost to accommodate educating them, there may not be very many. I think that will help a long way to alleviate the plight. While they were on service, they were employed by the federal government. So I think all their benefits come from the federal government. So at that level, the National Assembly could create laws to accommodate such a benefit for the fallen heroes, but not for the state. The state government intends to involve legionnaires at the local government levels as is done in other states. Joseph Kunde, TVC News, Yanagoa.